So we're going to talk about goal making because if you don't have a goal, you will have no idea where you're going. And we want you, whether your goal is smaller in Premiere, medium sized in Premiere, or really large, we want you to have a plan of action because if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. All right, so the, making a goal. You know, when I first started Premiere, my goal was $200 a month. And in Premiere, you know, our average show is around $400. So your average profit per jewelry show is around $200. That's the number that you're going to use to determine how many jewelry shows you need to do in order to meet your goal. And when I say have a goal, I really want you to attach your goal to something physical. I don't want it to just be like, oh, I would like to make an extra $500 a month but I want to know why you need an extra $500 a month. Is it to pay a difference in your mortgage? Is it to pay off a certain credit card? Is it to pay for a family vacation? Um, is it to pay for your shoe shopping budget? I don't really care what you attach it to, but I want it to be something very tangible and in front of your face. It could even be your grocery bill. Let me tell you, if it's attached to your grocery bill, how hard are you going to work to meet your goal? probably super hard. So I want you to attach it to something that really means something to you, okay? So let's say your goal is to make $600 a month. Well, if we divide 600 by $200, which is your average profit per jewelry show, you need to do about three shows a month in order to make that goal happen. That's where you're gonna come in, you're gonna make sure that you've got three shows on your calendar each month. The next thing I wanna talk about with your goal setting is getting out this little thing right here called your track to success. This comes in your kit and it's very crucial. It's not just in here to look pretty. There are awesome, awesome suggestions and tools in here for you to use. Um, the first thing I want you to do is to look at this right here. And I'm sure your Premier Mom has showed you this, so I'm just probably reiterating what she said, but it's that important. Right here it says your why. I want you to make sure that you're writing down what is your why for Premiere? What is that tangible thing that you're attaching uh, your goals to? Okay, the second thing I want you to look at right here is this track. This is going to walk you through all the different ways that you can earn free jewelry in Premiere from your first year, beginning with your Quick Start 6, Quick Start 9, and Quick Start 12. That's the very beginning of your business, and man, you can earn so much free jewelry by just doing this. Premier has laid out the tools for you to not only meet your personal goals each month through your jewelry shows, but also to meet business goals through the fun things that Premier has set up for you to earn all this free jewelry. So take a peek through this track to success. Make sure that you're utilizing it and writing down those goal dates um, and what your why is in Premier. I'm telling you, you'll do that and you'll start building a very firm foundation.